Um, it's great to have Sarah and Josie on set with us because it means that, that we can be very fluid with what we're doing. And they're constantly changing little things and, uh, you know, rewriting passages. And I feel like the work just gets better and better by, by having them there. I think also having the writers on set means that uh, the vision is more pure because we're constantly going back to, to what they imagined. And you can ask them questions and, and just, you know, feel sure that you're in the right world. A grown-up beauty to me, I suppose, in a way, means uh, uh, confidence and a beauty that you're in control of in some way. I think when you're younger, you just, I guess what they would call naturally beauty, like it, you, you don't really think about it, whereas I, I see women more in their 40s and they've really discovered what is great about themselves and they know how to put that out there and they know, you know, what to kind of hide a little. And I think that's probably, I think it's also what, what comes from within a person, you know, when you're grown up, just that sort of self-knowledge and, and confidence. I thought it was, uh, I thought the script was uproariously funny. Like I just, lots of gags that, that I hadn't thought of before. And um, uh, they have a great way of, of twisting a scene where you think it's going to go a certain way and then they just flip it back on itself. And I just thought it would be a lot of fun to do a comedy. Um, I, I so often do a lot of, of dramas and I've done a lot of heavy things over the last few years and it was, it was just great to read something that made me laugh. Cricket is uh, one of Molly's friends. Um, she, she has the potential to also be a, a starter wife, um, but uh, I don't think she wants it to go that way. Um, she's married to Jorge, who's a director, and um, she has no sense of direction. Um, what else could I say? Um, sort of in, in the clique with, with Molly and, and uh, Rodney and Joan, sort of four great pals who, who you know, go through a lot together. I suppose happiness is, is being yourself. Finding, finding yourself is, is, is where you will find happiness. You know, you can aspire to be what other people think you should be, but you'll never be happy within that. And it's interesting, I think, with Molly's character that she thinks she's really happy in the world that she's in and she's devastated when it changes, but it actually she realizes that, you know, she wasn't in love or she wasn't happy and, and uh, you know, through through a process of, uh, of something that seems sort of destructive and, and torturous, you, you actually come to a better place. Well, friendship from Cricket's point of view, it's, it's interesting because they, they actually kind of lose their friendship for a time and it, it's very tested by the other loyalties that, that you have. You know, I think... When you're married, you have a real loyalty to your husband, and Cricket certainly feels an incredible loyalty to her husband, and she's really between a rock and a hard place um, trying to work out what she should do. But I think, as terrible as it may sound, I think in the end the friends are the people who, who see you through. You know, Certainly in Hollywood, husbands come and go, but you know your friends you know, can stick by you. So I think you know, in the end she gets both. Uh, Deborah's a lot of fun. Deborah comes across on camera very much as she is in real life. She's, you know, she's a firecracker. She's, she's full of laughs and jokes, and and it's great to work with someone when you, you've seen them and and they actually are very much like they come across. You always get nervous that someone will be really funny on screen, and when you meet them, they'll be really, you know, um, straight or difficult or something. But no, she's not like that.